Captain Christopher L. Miles, 16th Special Troops Battalion. I'm the Battalion S3, uh, or Operations Officer. The exercise is Vanguard Proof. Uh, we named it Vanguard Proof really because this is our uh, proof of principle. You know, we're, we're out here uh, exercising every aspect of what the battalion is capable of doing. Uh, when we say Special Troops Battalion, it's because it's a conglomerate of, of different types of uh, soldier. Um, we've got uh, everything from finance, HR, maintenance, um, communications, uh, EOD, as well as aerial resupply company, um, all, all as part of our, our one battalion. Uh, so we came out here to do an exercise that really highlights uh, every piece uh, of what we're capable of doing, and that's what Vanguard Proof is. So specifically, uh, the first thing we came out here to do is a convoy live fire. So anytime we move and, and uh, conduct any sort of movement in the uh, military, uh, what we want to be able to do is protect ourselves. Uh, so the convoy live fire is us using our uh, crew served weapon systems mounted on vehicles uh, to engage, practice engaging targets as we maneuver a battlefield. Uh, so that's the first thing we came out here to do. Uh, additionally, our aerial resupply company, our quartermasters, are dropping in equipment um, from a C-130 that, that we can use out here uh, to kind of resupply our operations. Um, and third thing that we're doing is uh, EOD operations. So we have EOD soldiers as part of our battalion. And so anytime you have an explosive device, whether an unexploded or already detonated device, they, can, they come out and kind of clear the area um, and make sure that it's safe for future movements to come through. So we're exercising that ability as well. For this exercise, we're using uh, our M2, which is a 50 caliber machine gun, a Mark 19, and a uh, 240 Bravo, uh, Mark 240 Bravo, which is a 7.62 caliber machine gun as well. Uh, the interaction with the Slovenian Army is great. They've been uh, nothing but hospitable. Um, it, it's definitely great working with another NATO country. One of the key things we're uh, working on here as well is our communications equipment and making sure that we can talk to each other uh, on secured frequencies. So that, that's been a lot of fun. We, we've had a lot of interaction uh, just kind of planning this whole process. Um, my understanding is the 157th Log Regiment uh, from the Slovenian Army. This is the first time they've really partnered with a, a U.S. Um, logistics element as well. So uh, it's been a big learning process for both sides, but uh, a lot of fun getting here for sure. This is, this is uh, our battalion's first time here for sure. I've been fortunate to come out here and uh, kind of plan and, and see the lay of the land before. Um, so we can kind of decide where we're going to place our targets. Uh, we, we've worked just side by side with the Slovenian Army and uh, all their range control uh, to make sure that everything we do out here is safe uh, in conjunction with both uh, Slovenian and U.S. standards. So that's a challenge for anybody to set up a range, I think, and, and meet the U.S. standards. Uh, so for the Slovenians to already understand that and have their standards and, and we work together to make sure that uh, we can conduct a safe range, uh, safe aerial resupply and, and partnered EOD ops and all of it's partnered uh, working with them every step of the way. So, um, you know, Pocek is the perfect place to do it all. Uh, it, it has everything that, that we need to offer, especially with the 50 caliber weapon systems. That's a... Uh, uh, high velocity bullet that can do a lot of damage. So you've got to have a lot of area uh, to, to stay safe. So uh, it's been a huge planning factor there.